Hello everyone, my name is Snowden Computer Man, and welcome back to another Life is Strange episode. Um, if you're wondering why my bed's messy, mind your own business. And if you don't remember what happened last episode, um, I am pretty sure that we, like, found uh, Rachel Amber's dad cheating on Rachel's mom, I'm assuming. Um, so, you know, that was pretty interesting. Yeah, we just skipped school, played some games. It was pretty, it was another, like, kind of filler episode of ours, if that makes sense. Like, there wasn't really much to the story. It was just some more of a let's make connections with Rachel kind of thing. So that way when we lose her, like we know we do, it's more of an impact instead of just like, oh, Rachel died in the last game. That's sad for no one. But now, you know, you develop a relationship with her as you're playing as Chloe and you're good. Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? It's her dad, bro. I'm telling you right now. I gotta call her out. This, this communication is key here. I've heard that actors are moody, but wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. She shouldn't have is said that. that, that? Like, holy crap. Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. No, I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! <laughs> Ugh. Uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but apparently she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. Here, if you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great, I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. Okay, you can't leave. Could have gone better. Watch me. Rachel, wait. Don't go. Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? Ah! Why are you making me do this? This could mess up everything. If I say a friendship, that she might get offended because she's like, oh, I thought it'd be worth something. But if I say something more, she might be freaked out because like, oh, that's weird. We just like met like a day ago. You know what? Chloe does really, 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 really care 
about here. Let's go for it. Let's do it. I mean... Fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? Oh my god. You know, like... A friendship. <laughs> but... More. Ah. Uh, I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on. Say something. Chloe, I... I... You know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and I'm Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. I'm telling you, it was the dad. Goodbye, Chloe. Just confessed her love and not even anything back, really. She didn't say I don't feel the same way. She didn't say I feel the same way. She didn't say nothing. She just like, can't talk about it. Peace. Kind of messed up. Fuck this place. Come on, this is your place. You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Ah! Fuck off, Rachel. I can't move. I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. He took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. Hey, wait a minute, is that the truck we drive? It definitely is. Dad. I mean, it looks like it could have been here 
dad's, the way the side is caved in like that, it would kill him and not her. Dang, that's some pretty sad stuff right there. But it make me cry, you know? Are we in the dream again? Nightmare. I guess. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Whoa, what the heck? Whoa. Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? Yeah, it's kind of getting trippy. What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. This is weird. Hey. Where's my marker? Hey, where's my marker? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. I guess I did that? Sometimes, people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it. Some scary dream right there. She really slept in. All right. I mean, it's uh, whatever symbolic, I guess. I don't know. Oh, dang! You gotta get home, Chloe.
just gonna pop all the bird. why she followed the bird. How convenient! You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe... I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? Dead. The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Got it! Oh, all right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh, the worst part is, <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not crying, it's just my eye actually has something I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought, I thought I could catch him or something. Uh, that's why she did that. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't, I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him? Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us it's intense and new and awesome and you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too and i treated you like shit. courage i don't know if i'd call it that or like blind desperation and maybe a slight buzz from that wine i just want you to know I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. 
Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. I borrow your lighter? Okay. Thank you. Symbolism. Come on. Okay, wow. <laughs> what the heck is happening right now? <laughs> Did you see the wind? Did you see the wind? She's dumping up the tower. She really just set fire to the woods. So I say get out of dodge. Ah! There goes the wind. Yo, yo. Yo, when did this become like a superhero thing? That's a unique tree, isn't it? That's so messed up. That's the one tree around all of them. The last of its kind or something like that. Dang, that's messed up. Definitely supposed to be music because this looks like the ending. That looks like Nathan's dad. Uh, that's just a hunch, a wild hunch at that, but still.
And with that, let us look on to the sneak peek that I am assuming, and our, and our, and our stats. All right, 64% of people attacked. Good for us. Uh, we were mean or kind to Joyce, actually. Wow, we are in the, the minority for that. Uh, you stayed out of the fight 13%, and you defended Nathan 87%. What is wrong with you guys? He kills us in the future. How stupid are you? You told Rachel you are just more than for 75%. Wow, that is actually, I'm surprised with that one. Okay, oops, I meant to hit that. All right, um, did we take the money? No, we didn't. Uh, 53% didn't. Uh, you didn't purchase pot from Frank. Oh, I didn't even know that you could actually. Um, you didn't read Joyce's self-help book. 42%, I didn't even know about it. You didn't put the photo of William on the dresser. Oh. Oh, it's because, like, the episode... Okay, I did initially, but remember how I told you guys that I was having recording issues? That's why. I guess I just speeded through it. Um, you didn't slip money into Joyce's purse. 94%. I didn't... I f yeah, I didn't even know you could do that. That's probably why it's, the it's freaking ratio is so low. All right, um... You told Elliot you wouldn't go to the play with him. 25%, actually. Wow. Uh, you didn't listen to Skip's demo. 42%. Um, don't remember, like, having these options. <laughs> you didn't finish the tabletop game with Steph and Mikey. Initially, I did, but the recording issues, like I said. Sabotage Victoria's homework. 47%. Again, why are we in the minority for that? You told Rachel falling in love is stupid. 57%. You shared earbuds with Rachel, 98%. All right, good job. Uh, you jumped out of the train, 94%. All right, I think we are good. Now let's see the little sneak peek. Whoa. There wasn't any audio for that for some reason, but the subtitles were still there. And that does look scary. And actually, look at how it looks now. Oh my God. All right, well, I am gonna have to end that episode there. Um, thank you all for joining me on this journey. Um, we're gonna start episode two in the next episode, of course. I just don't know when that'll be. So my apologies in advance. Thank you guys, make sure to subscribe, like, so you know exactly when this video is gonna drop and when to know what the heck is gonna happen. Um, love you guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.